Welcome to this week's Pinty's Pub Chat with Pete. I'm here with Rachel Holman and Emma Miskew. We are live in Newfoundland at the Boost National. Ladies, how are you doing? Pretty good, how are you? Not too bad. Good. Now, I've been doing some research because Fry roasted me when I interviewed those guys. I'm not doing the research. You played together. This is your 20th anniversary playing together. Yeah. How have you been able to play together for so long? Most teams that make it through one Olympic cycle, 20 years. We no one else play with you, or what's the story? Yeah, you know, like everyone just says no all the time when we try to switch teams. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Um, I don't know. We like since we started so young, it kind of became kind of like family. Like we we traveled together with our, our other families, and it was just I don't know, it's just easy. Yeah, I think it's just like kind of started really young, and um, we just tried to see how good we could get and how far we could go, and keep trying to get better and better, and kind of just tried to get better within ourselves as opposed to trying to replace each other. So that's yeah. been good. Yeah. yeah. There's been a fair amount of success. A Four Bantam <laughs> titles, two junior titles. I do uh, put in the work. We get uh, three-time national ladies, Olympians. What keeps you playing? What motivates you? I mean, you hold the Grand Slam record with 10 titles. You're world champions, Canadian champions. Like, what motivates you to keep playing? Every time someone beats you, it just makes you really mad. <laughs> yeah, see, everyone, they beat me, I quit. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah that and uh, just kind of wanting to see what else we can do. I mean, uh, yeah, we're Olympians, we went to the Olympics, we didn't do as well as we were hoping to, so now that's another goal. It's just, it would be amazing to get back. And so we just, we work for that and we work for every weekend. It's not even just that, we just are super competitive and driven and want to see how, how good we can get. Yeah, you've gotten pretty good. Um, <laughs> and I hate losing. Yeah. That. Yeah, you never look charmed on the <laughs> ice. Like uh, people, oh, why doesn't she smile more? And blah. Like, what? What is that? You're just super focused on the. Earth. I find you and Brad Jacobs very similar when you're on the ice. You're out there. You're trying to win. You hate losing. I think everybody out there hates losing. I mean, yeah. no one goes out there to lose for sure. I hope not. No. <laughs> uh, you've had a son, as has Joanne. Uh, what's that like being on the road? Like that's got to add a, a whole new element to Team Homer. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just kind of learning as we go. Uh, every kid's different, obviously. So um, we're both kind of figuring out what works for us and have so much support on the road with us, which has been really key to us still being able to perform and do well. So that's just been really awesome to have everybody helping us out on the road. And you're all married now? Officially, if, finally. Yeah. If your husbands were to curl, <laughs> Who's skipping that team? Who's the oh. best? I mean, Robin pretends he's a golfer and your your husband was a hockey player. Now he plays slow pitch. So I don't know if he's very athletic because, <laughs> I mean, the ball's not moving very fast. <laughs> like, how hard is that? Who would skip that team? That's a good question. Yeah, I uh, I feel like I don't we'd all be insulted if we answered that question. Okay. Yeah, and I think they're all, they, they'd all be really good, like, front-end players because, uh, well, I don't know. Particularly for like my husband. Well, he's, he's not a good drawer and he's like This is the wishiest, washiest <laughs> answer. It's really tough. None of them really curl. Okay. So what are you gonna throw someone at Skip who yeah, doesn't throw curl? Throw Sean in there, why not? Yeah, we'll throw Sean and Skip. Yeah, Sean can skip. I'll I teach him the ways. <laughs> and then you've, uh, you know, you've both got the, the kids, kids now. Do you have any visions of being Glenn Howard? He's still out here playing with his son, Scott. Mixed doubles. That's, yeah, you that's can my play. dream. Yeah. yeah. I'm like kidding, mixed no. couples 20 <laughs> years from now? No. I don't know if he'll curl. We'll see. We'll see what he's into. But uh, yeah, maybe one day we'll we'll curl mixed doubles together. I'll be using the stick, and yeah. he'll be sweeping on my rocks. We were supposed to play mixed doubles together. When's that really? happening? I didn't get that message. You actually. might have been a little tipsy when you agreed to do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, not not yet. Okay. Maybe okay. a couple quads from now. All right. Well, uh, I mean, you guys arguably as good a team ever to play the game. Certainly the best tandem, won the most championships. What is left? Is it uh, to get back to the Olympics? Would that be the big focus for you guys? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it'd be great to get back to Worlds um, and just try and get a, a medal back for Canada. And um, then, yeah, in a couple of years, looking at the Olympics would be to try and get uh, another medal for Canada again at the Olympics. It's uh, something that we've always dreamed of and something we'd working hard to get back to and, and try and represent Canada as best we can. Well, we wish you all the best. Uh, thank you for coming on the show. Good luck this week, and uh, we'll be watching. <laughs>